In this session on Go Back in ARQ protocol, we will apply the application of sliding window method, which we did in the last session. Hi guys and welcome to yet another interesting video by Simply Learn. But before we begin, if you love watching tech videos, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update from us. Now without further ado, let's begin with the agenda for today's session. To start with, we will look into a quick recap for the sliding window protocol. Moving on, we will look into what is the Go Back and ARQ protocol, continuing with some important points regarding the protocol, and then we will also look into the working steps of the protocol. And continuing with some advantages and disadvantages of applying the protocol. At the end of the session, we will also solve an example using the Go Back and ARQ protocol. Let's begin with the sliding window protocol. Sliding window protocol is a method to share multiple data frames at a time in a network channel. The frames shared in the network are based on the window size assigned beforehand in the network model. As for the last point we have, each of the frames are assigned a sequence number for frame transmission and also to achieve more efficiency in the network channel. Now let's look into some information about the Go Back and ARQ protocol. This protocol applies the sliding window method for transmission of data in the network channel, where n in the protocol refers to the window size assigned in the network model. As for the term ARQ in the protocol refers to the automatic repeat request, which means the sender side will send multiple data frames to the receiver side according to the assigned window size. And only after it receives an acknowledgement from the receiver side will it continue to send the frames from the sender side. Moving on, let's look into some important points regarding the protocol. As to begin with, the method applied to share multiple frames from the sender side to the receiver side is known as the protocol pipelining, where each frame is assigned a sequence number for proper transmission of data in the network channel. Now let's move on to some other important points. As we already know, the N in the protocol refers to the window size, that is the maximum limit of frames that can be transmitted from the sender to the receiver side before reaching the acknowledgement for the previous frame. And in case if the transmission of the acknowledgement of a frame is not received within a certain time period, then all the frames from that sequence number are to be retransmitted in the channel. This point is to be remembered properly because this will be the key point in solving a question related to go back in ARQ protocol. Now let's move on to the working of the protocol. To begin with, we have a sender side and a receiver side, along with the sequence number, the window size for the network channel, and the number of frames will already be assigned in the network. Now, by applying the sliding window protocol, we will send the first three frames from the sequence continuously, which will be frame number 0, frame number 1, and 2. This is assigned according to the window size. After sending the frames, we will have a sliding window over the sequence numbers that are 0, 1 and 2. After the frames are sent to the receiver side, it will use the frames and send an acknowledgement signal to the sender side. That would be 0 for the first time. After which, we can share the next frame that will be frame number 3 from the sender side to the receiver side. After sending frame 3, the sliding window from sequence number 0, 1 to 2 will shift over to 1, 2 and 3. And similarly, for frame number 1, we will receive the acknowledgement signal from the receiver side to the sender side. And then we can share the next frame that is frame number 4 
from the sender side to the receiver side. And the sliding window will shift over from sequence number 1, 2 and 3 to over 2, 3 and 4. As for the next frame, that is frame number 2, when we receive the acknowledgement from the receiver side, there is a catch. For any network issues, the acknowledgement is not received by the sender side. So in this case, as discussed earlier in one of the important points, the sender side will not transmit frame number 5. Instead, it will retransmit frame number 2, 3 and 4. Where the second frame is the one which did not receive the acknowledgement and all the frames sent after second frame is to be retransmitted along with it that is 3 and 4. To much better understand the solution for the example we will be solving later in the video it is suggested that you watch the steps involved in the working of the go back and ARQ protocol again. Now moving forward let's take a look at some of the advantages and disadvantages of using the protocol in a network channel. For advantages we have, it increases the efficiency of transmission of frames. It also allows multiple frames to be sent at once. And the time delay is low for sharing the packets. As for disadvantages we have, the retransmission of frames in case of an error in the network channel is a very difficult work. And it also requires the storing of frames on the receiver side that it receives from the center side. Now that we have learned everything about the go back and ARQ protocol, let's take a look at the much awaited working example for the same. Let's take a look at the problem statement. In a given network, the number of frames provided is 10 with the window size assigned as 3 and for every fourth packet is lost. Find the total number of messages or frames sent from the sender side to the receiver side. From this question, we can get three main parts that are the number of frames that are given is 10. As for the window size is 3 and every fourth packet is lost. Let's take a look at the options. Option A 27, Option B 25, Option C 22 and Option D 29. I'll give you guys a moment to take a look at the question again. Now let's move on to the solution. As usual, we have the sender side and a receiver side. And according to the question, we have 10 frames. Numbering the frames sequentially, we have frame 1 to frame 10. And then according to the question, we have window size as 3. Now, using the sliding window method, we will send the first 3 frames, that is frame number 1, 2 and 3, from the sender side to the receiver side. That will be like this. After sending the frames, we will wait for the receiver side to send the acknowledgement. And a sliding window will appear on frame number 1, 2 and 3. Now the receiver side will send the acknowledgement for frame 1 to the sender side. And using this, we can send frame number 4 from the sender side to the receiver side. And a sliding window appear on 2, 3 and 4 sequence number. And similarly for frame number 2, we will send the acknowledgement from receiver side to the sender side. And send frame number 5 from sender to the receiver side. And a sliding window appears on sequence number 3, 4 and 5. Then again, for frame number 3, we will send the acknowledgement from the receiver side to the sender side. 
and send frame number 6 from the sender to the receiver side. And the sliding window appear on frame number 4, 5 and 6. Now let's move on for the next frame for acknowledgement that is frame number 4. For this frame, according to the given question, every fourth frame is lost during transmission from the sender side to the receiver side. That means no acknowledgement will be sent from the receiver side to the sender side for frame number 4 in that regards or any other frame that are sent after frame number 4 that is frame number 5 and frame number 6. Similarly, frame number 5 and frame number 6 will also get discarded. Now, let's retransmit according to the go back in ARQ protocol. Frame number 4, frame number 5 and frame number 6. After retransmission, frame number 4 will get acknowledged by the receiver side to the sender side. That means we can send next frame that is frame number 7 from the sequence order. And the sliding window appears on frame number 5, 6 and 7. Similarly, let's move on to frame number 5. But before we do that, let's count the position of 5th frame in the transmission order. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. That's correct. When we count the position number for any of the frames, from the beginning, we use sequence, not the sequence number given by the question. That means fifth frame is at the position number 8 from the beginning. That means according to the question, it will get lost during the transmission from sender to the receiver side. Similarly, frame number 6 and frame number 7 that was sent after fifth frame will also get discarded. According to the go back in ARQ protocol again, we will retransmit 5, 6 and 7 frame number to receiver side from the sender side. After retransmission, frame number 5 will get acknowledged by the receiver side and then we can share frame number 8 from the sender to the receiver side. And the positioning of the sliding window shift from 5, 6, 7 frame to 6, 7 and 8 sequence number. Now let's move on to the 6th frame. But according to the positioning order, position of the 6th transmitted frame is number 12. That means it will get lost during transmission from sender to the receiver side. And similarly, frame number 7 and 8 will also get discarded by the receiver side. And again, applying go back in ARQ protocol, we will retransmit frame number 6, 7 and 8. On retransmission, frame number 6 will get acknowledged by the receiver side. And we can share frame number 9 from the sender to the receiver side. And the sliding window will shift from sequence number 6, 7 and 8 to 7, 8 and 9. Now let's recount the position of the next frame that is frame number 7 from the beginning and that would be 16 that means frame number 7 will get lost during transmission from the sender to the receiver side and similarly frame number 7 8 and 9 is to be retransmitted according to the go back and ARQ protocol now similarly following all the previous steps we can complete this network model using go back in ARQ protocol but this is a work you guys have to complete and find out the total number of packets that were transmitted from the sender to the receiver side and give your answers in the comment section with this we have reached the end of the session if you have any questions regarding the topic you can ask them in the comment section thank you for watching Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.